Hi Venus, uh, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm going to discuss about the histological zones of enamel caries. Of course, this is an important area for your university examinations. A short answer in your third year and followed by an important area for entrance point of view. Okay, hope you are very familiar with the uh, histological zones of enamel caries. And you can remember with a mnemonic, a keyword called as TDBS. Okay, so you can remember just with this word called as TDBS. Okay, so what is this TDBS? T for translant zone, D for dark zone, B for body of lesion, S for surface layer. So nowadays, I hope like most of you are preparing for INICET too. So INICET is going to ask a sequence based question. So they can ask you, what is the sequence of this histological enamel zones from inside to outside or from outside to inside. Sometimes they may link with a diagram also. Very simple, no need to go for a complicated diagrams. Even you are planning to write a university exam, okay, either in your MDS first year, okay, this is an important area, or either in your third BDS. If a question is asked, you can go with a simple diagram like this with a different color coding. Okay, so from inside to outside, it is going to be T, D, B, S. Okay, so now we'll try to uh, go a bit a bit deep into this particular concept. So what, what happens in each zone? What is the significance of each and every zone from an entrance point of view? And of course, you can write the same points for your theory question also. So enamel caries zones are divided. So you can remember with TDBS, a simple mnemonic. So the zone one, okay, is called as translant zone T. Zone two is called as dark zone and zone 3 is called as in a body of lesion and zone 4 is called as in a surface zone and surface zone is present outside whereas your translant zone is present inside. So any caries starts from the surface mostly like mostly except few caries most of the caries starts from the surface. So surface is always present whereas the deepest layer may be absent in some types of histological slides. That's what the point one says. Okay, not always present. And of course, as it is the deepest zone, it is going to be the advanced front, means it is the one which is going to guide it. It is something like an engine to the train. It is something like an engine to the occurrence of a dental caries. And of course, it is the deepest of all the zones because it is present in the lower part. And translancy is because of the pores of the spaces with a volume size of 1%. Do remember, this is a volume size of 1% is seen in the case of translant zone, whereas a normal dentin has a pore size or a pore volume size of only 0.1%. Means this zone has 10 times more pore size. Right. So the second zone is called as dark zone. Dark zone is always called as positive zone. Okay. It is called as positive zone. It is usually present. And uh, I mean, it is basically due to the reduction of the minerals per unit volume because basically demineralization occurs here. Okay. So caries is nothing but a shift of uh, a shift of this demineralization, remineralization cycle towards the demineralization side. That is the reason why the caries occurs. And if you see the pore size, the pore size is two to four percentage. And uh, if you see, like, if you if you talk about the rapid advancing caries, it will be narrow in the rapid advancing caries this zone, and it will be wider in the slow advancing caries. When it's slow, caries is slow, it is wider. Caries is rapid, rapidly progressing caries, it will be narrow. And coming to the third zone that is called as body of the lesion. Body of the lesion is present superficial to the dark zone and it will be deep to the surface zone. It will be deep to the surface zone and it will be superficial to that of the uh, dark zone. And if you take here, the there is a large portion of demineralization when you compared with the dark zone. When you compared with the dark zone, the portion of remineralization will be high. And if you see the pore, si pore size or the pore volume also, the pore volume also is very, very high in the case of body of the lesion. Okay, so, uh, and, and you can check this. This is a clinical significance, okay. Shows an increased prominence in the stria of ridges. So this, this can be asked as a question. It was once given in the PGI. Okay, so shows 
I mean, uh, increasing in the prominence of Shreya of Ridges is seen in the which of the histological zone of anamel caries is a question asked. The answer is zone 3, that is the body of lesion. And coming to the last zone, that is called as surface zone, which is the outermost zone, okay, uh, appears really un 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 unaffected, okay, and sometimes like if you see surf subsurface demineralization, okay, hope you remember your clinical uh, uh, point that is called as white spot white spot lesion okay so white spot lesion is basically due to the subsurface means surface is intact but there will be demineralization subsurface so sometimes this surface may be unaffected in some types of subsurface demineralization okay uh, due to greater degree of mineralization and fluoride concentration what is going to happen most of these lesions will be healed self-healed self-healed self-healing will be there okay they can be self-healed that is called as uh, you can you can consider it as preventive dentistry means you no need to prepare a cavity for this surface zone because the accessibility of this fluorides or your remineralizing agents will be very high on the surface so there are high chances that this area can be remineralized again if it is left untreated then the surface enamel get damaged and the cavity will be formed okay so the, if it if it is not properly treated then it moves to the next level okay uh, hope hope you can check your icdas classification if you just correlate the clinical icdas there is something called as icdas caries classification if you correlate that okay I see this one and I see this two will come under surface areas okay the white spot lesion is nothing but it, it moves around the surface zone and the treatment plan for i see this one and i see this two that involves the subsurfaces remineralizing agents you can apply fluorides you can maintain proper oral hygiene you can apply remineralizing agents okay that is cpp acp calcium amorphous calcium phosphate can be applied so that i see this one and i see this two can be healed which are present on the surface zone.